Hey, Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise here. Even though I almost wasn't here th this week, my internet's been down for nearly three days, which makes publishing internet videos a bit of a challenge. Unfortunately, I have a metric ton of board games at my disposal that I can play to help pass the time until that sweet, sweet bandwidth returns. But you know, oddly enough, even without internet access this week, I have found myself still habitually reaching for my phone while I've played. I'll look up a clarification to that rule on BG... Oh, well, that's right, I have no internet. All right, while you pick out the next game, I'll log my play for this... Oh, that's right, I have no internet. I'm gonna post a picture of our game on Instagram. Oh, that's right, I have no Instagram followers. It all makes me wonder, have we modern day board gamers grown too internet dependent? I mean, look around at a convention or even a game night at home with friends. How many devices are in use at the table? But I'm not just referring to the omnipresence of online activity while playing games. It starts long before the game even hits the table. There's an entire online ecosystem that has developed around the analog activity of pushing pieces of plastic and cardboard around the table. In fact, one wonders whether online board game content now has as much of an influence on the hobby as traditional physical brick and mortar outlets. Perhaps even more. For example, let's take a little quiz. Of your 10 most recent board game purchases, how many were made without first researching a review online, watching a playthrough video, listening to a podcast, or downloading a tutorial? And of those 10, how many games did you discover in person versus the unceasing chatter that populates our Twitter and Facebook feeds? Heck, when's the last time you walked out of a local store with a game that you knew nothing about going in? Uh, it, it certainly happens, sure, but I wonder if it's happening less and less frequently in our increasingly Wi-Fi world. So what it boils down to is, I'm wondering, has access to the virtual world become so ingrained in our daily routine that it now has a greater impact on the perpetuation of the board game hobby than the physical world does? I mean, I know that, for me at least, being disconnected this week has made me feel like I've been missing a portion of the board game experience. Not a substantial portion, but yeah, a portion nonetheless. But then again, as a board game media maker, perhaps I'm just more aware of the online side of the hobby than the typical player. So tell me, am I overestimating the importance of internet access in the growth and sustainability of the board game industry? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh, uh, oh, hey, hey, my internet's back. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Uh, let me know what you think in the... Let me know what let me let me know what you think about the over importance of the internet in the comments when we blah the comments when the below the, the that expansion's back in stock. Oh cool. Yes. I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I, I got totally distracted and just, just trailed off there. So I'm sorry. Uh, I totally, totally forgot to take my phone with me. So I'm going to just, just going to go get the, oh, huh.